Okay, we'll be solving this differential equation with power series. All this is equal to zero. Right here, we notice that we have the negative 2x. We can multiply this with that. 1 plus a minus 1, which is just n, all right? I want to have x to the nth power only. You add 2 to the n, and then n plus 2 minus 2, you get n. Now it will be a n plus 2. n minus 1 plus 2 is just going to be n plus 1. And this n, we add 2 to that, n plus 2, okay? Subtract 2 here, subtract 2 there. 2 minus 2 is 0. Infinity minus 2 is still infinity. We always want to fix x to the power first. We are going to fix the starting n value. Plugging n is equal to 0 for the first term, and then you know the next term is going to be all this right here is the same as saying the summation when n starts with 1 to infinity. So all this is still the same as that. This is n is equal to 1 already, so I don't have to fix that. And then for this one, as you can see, n is equal to 0. We plug in 0 into this n and that n. That will be the first term, right? The series when n starts with 1 now. This right here is for this. Okay, this is still equal to 0. This is just 2a2. And then for this, it's just plus a0 plus a0. So now we can just put them into just one sigma notation, right? And all this is still equal to 0. This plus that must be equal to 0. All this right here have to be equal to 0. These are the two conditions that we have. I am going to solve for the a with a bigger index, namely a2 is equal to negative 1 half a0, a n plus 2 equal 2 n minus 1, so divided by n plus 2 times n plus 1. And now let's put down the a n on the side. So this is what we have. As you can see, I wrote down the formula that we got earlier right here, right? a2 is based on a0. We can say that a0 to be arbitrary. We will also say that a1 to be arbitrary as well. a0, a1, they are in fact our constants for our differential equation. When n is equal to 0, we know right here it will be a sub 0 plus 2, which is a2. Just pick a part and then do it vertically, okay? And then equal signs. Next, and then fraction bar, fraction bar. Okay, when n is equal to 0, plug into here. Lastly, plug in 0 into this part, and then this and that. Well, a0, a1, they're arbitrary. So we'll just leave it as how it is. And what's a2? We have to look back to here. And yes, I did not reduce anything for a good purpose. Negative 1 over 2 times 1. And then we have the a0, okay? <laughs> 5 times 4 times 1 over 3 times 2. And then this is multiplied by a1. And now we have all the ingredients to write the solution for that differential equation. The series when n starts from 0 to infinity, a n times x to the nth power, right? Put all the terms that has the a0 first and then factor out all the a0, right? We factor out the a0, so this is going to be and forever, forever, right? And then we put down all the terms that has the a1 in blue. I will call this the expanded form, and this is usually more preferred than this. And we can make this to the <laughs> ultimate best. Summation notation, let me say k. These two terms are okay because I just write it down separately. So on the numerator from here and after, I'm going to erase the 1. I start with 3 times the next number is 7, and the next number is 11, and then so on, so on, so on. And we know we must stop at somewhere, right? So let me put parentheses, and we have to figure out a formula for the last number that we have to multiply right here. Each every time you know the new number, it's going to be increased by 4, right? So in that case, the formula is going to be 4 times whichever the variable that we're using, which is k. And now we just have to figure out if we have to add or subtract a number right here. When k is 4, the last number that we are multiplying, or well, the new number that we are multiplying, is 11. 4 times 4 is 16 already. How can we get 11? Well, 16 minus 5 is 11. So therefore, it will be 4k minus 5. So now let's check this out. We're trying to write a formula for all these terms, right? It begins with 1, and then the next number is going to be multiplied by 5. 
and then the next one is going to be 9, and so on, so on, so on. As a common difference, times whichever the letters that we're using, which is the m, when m is 3, the last numbers that we are multiplying is 9. So it will be 4m minus 3. Okay? And this right here is it. First of all, let me just box all this right here for the answer. And once again, if you use k right here, or m right here, or n right here, doesn't matter. And before we go, let me show you guys this. Another way to represent 3 times 7, 4, k minus 5, it's the following, the capital pi notation. And I'm going to use another index, I will just say this is i. This is saying i goes from 2, and the last term that I want to have is k, which is 4, i minus 5, like this. This is the longest question I have done in a video, and this right here is it.